Now I'm going to set up a search for your client in Firepoint, and I would recommend that you set up your own search in the MLS. Uh, basically, in this case, I'm doing it for myself, but let's say Mike Hughes is my client. I would want to set up the absolute perfect house match search in the MLS and get notified immediately. So that's something you should be doing on the back end. Um, that way, if the perfect house shows up, uh, you're going to know about it right away and you can notify your client. Um, in this search, you want to get granular in the sense that if they only want properties with you know two or more bathrooms, you want to respect that. Um, but you don't want to get too, too granular uh, so that they miss out on properties, right? And so what we do is inside of the contact record, go to searching, click on the plus sign. All right. And it's going to show me virtually everything in the multiple listing service. So let's just narrow that search down a little bit here and only search in Watertown. Okay. Um, you can plug in any town. You can, in fact, we could say, well, maybe this client's willing to uh, or interested in buying both Watertown and Waltham. So we plug in both towns or as many towns as they're interested in. Plug in their uh, price range. Always leave a buffer in case you know if they're looking up to 700. You know if they're okay with it, maybe include properties that are listed up to 750. Uh, there's a chance that something's overpriced and uh, they might be willing to take less closer to your client's budget um, number of bedrooms so this is three or more bedrooms number of bathrooms and again uh, if if nothing's showing you know right here i only have eight results uh three and a half bathrooms so i might want to open that up a little bit by going to two bathrooms and now i've got uh, more than double the options uh, but what you're also seeing here is a few townhouses mixed in with single families. So if that's what they want, that's great. But if they need to get more, or if they're uh, if they're only looking for uh, single families, you would want to make that adjustment. Okay. So under property type, just go to single families, and it will limit it to that. Uh, as you can see, you can limit all sorts of things: square footage. Um, you know garage types uh, lot sizes uh, but you know just be careful because the more you limit these searches um, the fewer properties they're gonna see and sometimes uh, a property could be a three-bedroom house and they're really only looking for a four-bedroom house so that they have an office so you, you you really don't need four bedrooms you just need a certain number of rooms in the house and three of them specifically need to be, um, you know, conducive to you know being bedrooms. So just think about that as you're setting up the search. You don't want to narrow the choices uh, so much so that there's nothing coming up. Once your search is set up, click on Save and Email. Give the search a name. Uh, test for Mike. You could you could say Watertown Waltham, whatever's appropriate. Um, you know, there, there's no rule here. You could you could uh, just put their name again. Uh, just set it up so they're going to want to use it. I'm just copying text from another screen. Um, most people are going to want to see this daily. If they're really active, you could set it to immediately. We download all of the listings every 10 minutes or so from the MLS. So if you click immediately, they're going to see it. You know, as fast as any other realtor would, if um, if they're if they're able to wait for a daily email, set it at that pace. Um, whoever should be receiving or, or sending the email, uh, send it from them. Uh, so typically, that's going to be your name. And then I like to paste this in here. So uh, this is just a reminder to click on the heart if they like it. And then if they're uh, liking a property, you would want to select the um, or send them an RPR report. Down here, if there's more than one email address on the account, you can send it to whichever email addresses are on the account, maybe a spouse, family members, things like that. Um, and then <clears throat> I always click no here because I don't want them to get an email every time that I make an update. But if you're just setting up the search, you might click on yes. And as soon as you click save, the uh, 
email will be sent out. <laughs> Over here, you can see uh, what searches are set up. Client can have multiple searches set up. I try to consolidate them because um, in most cases, that's just easier for people to track. And if Mike goes on vacation, you could pause it. Um, it's pretty unusual for that to be needed, but in any case, you can resume. And now, if he calls me and wants to make a change, I just click on the little pencil up here. Um, he's told me that, no, I really do need four or more bedrooms. Um, and I can make that change, click Save. And the search is updated. Okay. Um, now I'm going to just pause this because I don't really need to receive those emails myself. Um, the search activity is going to show over here. So as soon as uh, the user starts clicking on properties, you'll get a sense of, of what they're looking at. And you can you know, further assist with the search.